Mark, have you got... Can you take that? Thank you, well done. Now, are there any, is anybody here who also would like to read? My apologies, I forgot the name of the representative. How could I? And he's a stoker. Yeah. So can you come up with the next group, please? Now, any who would like to lay a reef, please come forward. <laughs> yes, the Australian American Association. They've been patrons of ours for years and we thank you. Anybody else would like to come up? Okay. okay, now to all of those who can stand, please stand. We'll have the last post, a minute silence, and sing our national anthem. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. I'll repeat the name alone. They have no grave but the cruel sea. No flowers lay at their head. A rusting hulk is their tombstone, fast on the ocean bed. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. The going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget.
Vietnam War touched people in many ways. I guess the most personal way it touched me was I was in grade eight and a school teacher and a member of our church, his son Vic got killed in Vietnam. And I remember that because that profoundly changed those people and my understanding of the war as that one personal thing. So as you remember the people, we've heard about the people in the Navy who were, uh, did not come home. Uh, go forth in courage, be of good cheer, support the faint-hearted, help the weak, and do things boldly and confidently in the name of our God. Amen. Amen. Once again, well said. Thank you, Gary. I would like to ask the President of the Naval Association, Mr Pat Vingold, to come forward, please. Yes, please be seated. I would like to call the uh, president of Sandgate up, but uh, don't come back up the stairs, Daryl. Stay there, I'll come down. I think it's easier if I come down. Um, the State AGM conference, uh, which was in March, which um, unfortunately, some may say, I was elected. <laughs> but uh, it, it's an honour. It's an honour to be here. And, uh, and today is reminiscent of why it's an honour for me, because these are the services that really touch people, people's, people's hearts. Thank you, Jane, for that magnificent uh, Sunday Mail article, which I think uh, was really uh, the forerunner for today, because um, people read that and uh, it moved a lot of people and made people remember, like um, Gary Hart said, people think and um, where was I when that was all on? A lot of people here were there. And, uh, um, you know, I was there uh, on Vampire as an escort ship late in the war, towards the end, in the 70s, early 70s. But, um, yeah, anyway. Um, the reason I'm here, uh, Sandgate was awarded the <coughs> Naval Association, Shine Coast Subsection Shield, the annual numerical increase award for uh, a subsection that has the most or the best numerical increase for membership for the year. For year 2023, uh, Sangate won that award. Uh, on behalf of all of us here and all of the uh, all of the members of the Naval Association Queensland, congratulations to Sangate again. Thank you. you want me to put next year's on it as well? Oh, <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you all. Can I also say, uh, Phil, Major Phil, and Daryl, Commander Daryl, thank you so much for your presentations this morning. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed both. And uh, I'm sure everyone here did too. Um, we didn't need Jim to cut in with a breakaway song. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I honestly, I thought they were wonderful presentations. And um, I'm sure people heard information that um, they didn't know. And, and I didn't know some of it. And um, I didn't read my school books. There you go. So I might go home and have a read. Thank you all. Please enjoy yourselves today. Have lunch over there with, with one another and enjoy the ambience and the uh, yeah. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you. I think that today has been one of our largest. I can't remember the last time we had to order in more chairs, but may it continue. Please tell your friends about us, but not only tell them, bring them along, because it is you who make these days a success. Without further ado, I should say good morning.